my front porch artists. Today we're going to make your fishing set that came in your funny fish kit. So we are going to paint these fun fish and make a little game that you can play over and over again. So the first thing you're going to do is have your paints ready, a little bit of water, something to protect your surface, and then I like a paper towel or this reusable cloth to blot my brush on between colors. Uh, first thing you're going to do is to take a piece of foil and wrap it around a, the, your fish. You want to follow what we call the contours of the fish here. So you can rip your foil and bend it in lots of different ways. You can see how I'm going around the contour of the fish here. If you need a grown-up to help you with this, that's just fine. Or you can try it yourself. Press it like this. And then I'm going to rip it down here. And you can even, if you have extra like this, you can tear it off too. This is just tin foil. Now, if you want to use some extra pieces to cover like this, then you can use your glue stick and just put some glue on here and mash that down. I'm not going to worry about that with mine today but you are welcome to do that with yours if you'd like. So, look at this side, here we go. My fish fin looks like maybe it got bitten off by another fish or something. It's a little bit crooked there. All right, so now you can do something really cool with foil. You can make patterns on it and you can use either your fingernail or um, you can use your dowel, which is going to become your fishing rod. So I'm just going to do a few patterns on here like this. And then maybe some dots. This is so fun because it's almost like it etches into here. Now you can also see in your fish you have a little hole in the eye right there. And you're going to need that so that you can go fishing later. So just kind of keep an eye on keep an eye on that. All right, so I'm going to get my brush now and show you how to watercolor on foil. So I'm going to get a little bit of paint and just start here. The foil, it tends to, the paint tends to ball up on the foil if it's real watery. So you want to just mix a little bit of water in, not too much. You can see it kind of resisted at first, but then it accepts it after a little while. It does take a little while to dry. So you're gonna to need to set this aside while it dries. Okay, so and remember to rinse your brush and then dab it off in between colors so that your colors don't mix. Then you get nice, bright colors. Okay, I'm gonna try some other color dots here. You can see it doesn't wanna accept it at all at first, but then it does once you get a nice amount of paint on there. Have no fear. There it goes, just be a little bit patient. And get back to it a little bit. There we go. All right, and then you can follow the lines with your paint. And you might need to go over it a few times. I think it's sinking down into the little dotty grooves here. And just go back, keep going back over it until it sticks. fun. It's not a one and done like on watercolor. You get to keep going back and adding things. And you can fill in too like this. Looks kind of watery, doesn't it? Almost like he's underwater. All right. So I'm going to set this aside because I've already done these earlier. And here's one of the fish I did earlier and it dried. So now I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and poke it through 
the little eye hole. Looks like an eye, but actually I'm making this into a loop. Pipe cleaner goes through and then wind it over on itself. Be careful, those ends can be a little bit pokey. And you want a nice loop like this. Next, you're gonna tie your fishing line onto your dowel or your fishing rod. Tie it once, tie it twice in a nice knot. And then on the other end, you're going to tie your hook. We're going to tie it once. Tie it twice. And then we have our fishing line, just like that. All right. And now you can play a little game. Let's see. Can I catch it? My string is all winding and unwinding. Let's see. Here we go. Can I do it? Oh, I caught one. Have fun painting all three of your fish with all different colors. Remember to let it dry in between and then have fun playing your game.